Okay, hello everyone. Welcome in a new field. I'll call it the mountain field. And uh, as I'm stepping onto the field, <laughs> and I'm bloody serious, it just it just washed out the coin. And it's an old coin. It's a copper nickel. Uh, my detector is still off, you know. Look at that. It's. 1861 Oh wow I think I gave one of those to uh, Derek Naylor Look at it, how sharp That's uh, copper nickel Oh, it looks great Well, this hunt can't fail anymore 10 something Oh, I'm happy with that Well That's uh very promising. I'll see you at the first find. Well, this is the first find, but the first uh, detector find. I'll keep my eyes open. You'll never know. There's more coins of, uh, over here. So, okay. See you at the first one. Okay, I have a good signal here. It's a 77, 78, something like that. So, uh, I'll have a go at it and dig it out live. Uh, just a second here. It shouldn't be too deep, I, I think. Uh, well, oh, it's here, but now it's uh, the sixty. Uh, let's break it up a bit. Somewhere in here. Well, I can't find it, but Oh, there it is. Oh. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. It looks like uh, a little molten piece of uh, copper or brass. Not sure. Okay, see you at next. Okay, uh, we got uh, our first uh, little. Uh, pistol ball, lead pistol ball. There we go. That's always good. Good indication of uh, oldness. Okay, on to the next. Okay, you guys, I found something good. It's uh, brass, I think. Uh, got this orangey color to it. I don't know what it is, but uh, well, no idea. But it looks nice. It's, might have prob no, it probably has hasn't got any decoration on it. Oh yeah, but it's a nice find. Don't know what it is, but I'll find out. I guess. On to the next. Got my next one. Got some clay pipe too. You can see it there. There we go, some clay pipe. And then it's here. Oh, it's 
there can you see it the green uh, I can't see the camera very well at this moment there it is so let's see what it is uh, well it's a big coin <laughs> uh, bigger than I usually than I usually find uh, there's so much muck on it it has rained for uh, two days um, well I'll have to wait until the roundup but it's a nice coin look at that big size coin maybe a, a 10 sound team from uh, from France I don't know we'll see if there is anything left on it because the bigger coins mostly uh, they rot away faster or they uh, they get uh, scraped faster you know polished okay on to the next okay and first got two signals here the first uh, they were very close to each other the first one was here second one was here uh, the first one is just trash it's uh, I don't know what it is piece of aluminium foil or of some sort yeah see tin can but the other one is this no I don't know what it is it might be just trash of course uh, oh well no hmm I think it's shrapnel yeah it's brass brass uh, brass shrapnel okay on to the next okay and I got my next one um, it's it's stuck in there I, uh, there you go there it is here on the top and it's a little coin and that's uh, looks to be a line sent I'm not sure everything is just so wet yeah we'll see we'll see but it's a coin <laughs> well on to the next Okay, next one is here. It's uh, 8081. It's there. I don't know if you can see that. There it is. It's uh, a hammered copper coin, I think. Uh, but if there will be anything on it, it's uh, kind of a big coin. But it's well, it's very very corroded, I think. Oh well. On to the next. Okay, next one is a, a bullet. Was a 70. Found a few more of those uh, very small musket balls. If they are musket balls, so. a little bow tail and uh, the place is really littered with <laughs> clay pipe pieces you can see there they're just lying on top here so, yeah, okay on to the next okay I had a beautiful uh, 18, AC, uh, 80 signal and it's uh, this which is probably part of uh, suspenders of some sort maybe from a backpack soldiers backpack World War one World War two something like that I'm not sure or part of a buckle no idea okay on to the next and uh, today it's really beautiful weather 
had uh, two days of rain couldn't do any detecting and I'm very happy to be out so I'm gonna be here uh, as long as I can um, so yeah we'll see if something uh, some other nice things pop up on the next okay the next one is uh, here and it is a little uh, anchor buckle um, signal was 70 uh, 6970 and it's a little uh, well, I don't know shoe buckle but it's uh, an anchor the buckle itself is gone the pin is gone but this is the part that would be uh, attached in the clothing to keep the whole assort assortment in place in a shoe or somewhere else but it's a nice find nice old find this one is a uh, is copper or bronze because the signal was kind of low I would say I would go for bronze because the signal was uh, only 70 which is low for uh, copper and it's definitely not brass so brass would go higher also it's a very nice find I'm very happy with that okay on to the next okay and I got my, got my next one here um, signal was 49 to uh, 51 and it must be a copper nickel look the imprint uh, it's a 25 cent Belgian 25 cent um, so I'll have to clean up I'll, I'll have to clean it up to see what exactly it is one uh, with a little hole in it okay on to the next I'm uh, returning home now uh, gonna follow this track here a bit and then return to the car because I got quite a long way to go <laughs> uh, normally I don't go uh, that far from the car but yeah okay see you at the next okay I found my next one at about uh, four inches and it's uh, this thing uh, I think it's copper um, I don't know exactly what it is is it a watch winder or uh, Not sure what this is, <laughs> but it looks nice. I don't know what it is, but hey, it's a fine. Okay, on to the next. Okay, next one was an 82 from about eight inches, and it's this. It might be uh, an acorn. Not sure. Looks like that heavy too. And it's got a rusty part on this side but this is a uh, brass I think. Got some lines on it. Okay on to the next. Okay hello everybody welcome at the roundup. So I laid everything out here. We'll start off with the trash which is this uh, it's um, it's enough, but I've been around uh, the edges, so there's always a bit more trash at the edges. Um, don't know what this is, but it's curled up, kind of strange. Modern bolt, some sort of stud, gripping stud. Um, hmm. Well, it's either the end of. Uh, maybe a gate or something or maybe it's just a two millimeter uh, unexploded mortar <laughs> well it's 
it's not, but you know, otherwise I wouldn't have taken it with me. It's got some decorations, but it will be, oh, you can see it here. So, I don't know, it's very heavy. It's brass with some uh, iron on the bottom. And then we got this, some sort of uh, well, a cog or regulator for something. Um, pieces of brass, pieces of lead, and this is kind of strange, but I think it's just melted into the ground like this, like this, and then the lead melted into the, into the ground, or it is like a small bullet that's been crushed. I'm not sure. Um, we got this. Now this is uh, quite heavy. It's got a, a one at the bottom there, and uh, I don't know what it is. Something electrical, maybe. So I'm not sure with the little rings here. Um, got this. No idea. Um, then we got shrapnel, brass shrapnel, one bigger piece, and then all smaller pieces here. Four uh, medium-sized musket balls, pistol balls. Um, this is probably from uh, soldiers' rigging, you know, the backpack rigging. Um, this too, I believe, because I found both of these. I found exactly the same parts in the in the soldiers' field, so I guess they they are military. Um, I have two bullets, both 1918, this one was kind of clear, and there it is on top, 18, that's the year it was made, and then we got one bow tail, um, then we got the clay pipe, a lot of clay pipe, one black piece here, nicotine stained pieces, one is interesting, this one, which has a uh, heel tube with a stamp, and yes, it's like this. I'm gonna try to show this, if I can hold it still. And there it is. Can you see it? It's uh, a little ship. Can you see it? It's a little ship. Very nice. I like these little stamps very tiny but you know a very nice little design on them so I'm gonna keep that one very nice I love these these little stamps and of course a lot of clay pipe pieces then we got this which is probably a watch winder but I'm not completely sure I'm not a specialist in uh, watch winders it might have a stamp here of some sort or maybe it's just corrosion I'm not even sure of that mm. it looks kind of just corrosion I guess this side has nothing on it yeah I think it's a watch winder but yeah I'm not 100% sure then we got this little item here which is very decorative and then it got this hole in, in here, a ring with a hole, and the hole is not really centered, so I guess it's it's not that modern. Maybe part of a watch fob, I'm not really sure. This is uh, the anchor of an anchor buckle, so you can see the anchor. And the buckle itself is gone, and the pin it's and the pin that was here is is also gone. Still a nice find. I like to find these. And then this is a, a belt hook that broke off. You can see it made out of copper. Um, and then we have the coins. This one, well, you know, look at it. How beautiful. And just on the surface, that's, you know, 
I love these little coins these are copper nickel and as you can see copper nickel keeps way better than copper um, so these are well not old old and I will show you here the um, the rim of the coin which is still you know you can see the little dots in it still beautiful and then here it says l'union fait la force unity makes strength the designer of the coin Brandt under the line and a standing line or a heraldic line 1861 and on the other side Leopold premier roi des Belges Leopold first first king of the Belgians he was the first king and 10 centimes little star and then there you got I believe the mint mark oh. it's a very very nice coin I'm very happy with it and just on the surface I love these coins I gave one away to Mark uh, Hort Finder NL and uh, Derek Mailer so but I really really love these coins I keep as many as I can and I only got three of them my and uh, two that I gave away uh, yeah we'll keep that one uh, this one is uh, Albert you can barely make out the A here and then the date is 1921 1921 but I will put up a, a better one now so and then I have two completely rotten ones uh, can't make anything out on them they're as far as I know completely blank so these are two for uh, the competition blank competition <clears throat> and then I got this one and I'm very happy to get this one look at it how beautiful so it's got the weapon shields on it from Burgundy, Austria, uh, Brabant and Flanders I believe and it says something Archidux uh, blah blah which I'm not all, all gonna say but it's a very nice coin the date is on here too it's 1, 7 and then 5 just above my nail there but it's a bit corroded and the 8 well I can try to show the 8 but so you can see it 1 7 5 and then an 8 over there but it's kinda hard to see but a very nice coin I'm very happy with that and the name of the I'm gonna put it down again um, the name of the ruler who, who this coin is from is uh, T H E O D O R De Gracia De Gracia I don't know so it's Theodore that's Theodore of Bavaria so I didn't have Theodore of Bavaria he was Archbishop of uh, Liège in Belgium and was uh, had also uh, governmental powers he could rule also I'm very very happy with that in this state these coins go about seventeen dollars or about fifteen euros in this condition so and the beauty on this coin I find is it's not struck completely in the center and you can see the thickened edge here which really shows that it's uh, a hammered coin you can see the edge there the other edge is just flat and that's beautiful I love that very very happy with this coin and the other one of course the uh, 1861 amazing so yeah that was it hope you enjoyed it thank you very much bye bye